through okay but i know there's a bit of a delay but welcome 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 if you've never been here before welcome to the broadcast if you have been here before welcome back we are in the edible kitchen not the soap kitchen and i know that's a little bit confusing because i'm wearing a soap school t-shirt however um philadelphia has been locked down yet again and so i have decided to actually uh -uh, you need clothes on if you're gonna come in here kiddo oh Paige, come on if you want to come on you got to get some clothes Oh, you just want to watch. Okay, Paige is saying hi, everybody. All right, so um, Philadelphia has gotten shut down yet again. Hey, hey, Drea. And if you know anything about me, I absolutely, positively adore Hot Pot. So we are going to be making our own version of Hot Pot right here in the kitchen. Um, Lakeisha said hi, Paige. Hey, Drea. Hey, Laura. Um, I have missed broadcasting, guys. Things have just gotten completely busy, so I figured let's show you all how we go about making our very own hot pot. So I actually have you on the laptop camera there, but as you can see, we have our mount here so that you'll be able to see all of the ingredients. Hey, 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 Jetty, how are you? So um, we are going to be using some chicken stock which is right here. Um, you can make your own chicken stock. I will be making my own chicken stock inside of the pressure cooker, but for now we're gonna use the canned stuff because that's what we got, all right? So we have the chicken stock. We also have our vermicelli noodles, guys. Vermicelli noodles. Um, you'll see them when we put them in the pot. How about that? We also are going to be using some, I call these beans, but that they're they're my version of beans there we're also going to be using some cut up okra Paige is usually my second pair of hands and she cuts up all of my veggies but she doesn't have clothes on because that's what she's doing these days she doesn't like to wear clothes in the house so i'm going to have to cut my own we're also going to be using some fresh mushrooms that is also um included in the recipe um we also are going to be using some, now let's talk about the meat, because we've talked about the veggies, we've talked about the noodles, the most important part is what's in the world are we going to have for the carnivore side of what it is that we are, right? So we're going to be having some fish balls with shrimp, rather. We're also going to have some beef ribeye slices. My aunt went with me to pick these out. She said, this fish market smells amazing. And the meat is absolutely gorgeous. So we have that. We also have some fresh lamb slices. I don't know if you guys can see that, but you'll see it in a moment. Um, if you are a non-pork eater, look away, look away, look away. But for some of us who are, um, we also have ourselves some pork belly slices. My aunt does not eat pork, but no worries. We have, uh, oh, and we also have squid. I love squid, so we're gonna put squid on one side. And we also are going to be using some enoki mushrooms. Yes, you're speaking my language. Do it your way, do it your way. What, do it your way. Okay, that's all of the ingredients that we are going to be using. Hey, 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 hold on, is that Tisha? It is, hello, beautiful Tisha, watching you on my work break, hello. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch you over to the hot pot cam. It's not a soap cam. It is the hot pot cam that we are going to be using now. So let me switch you guys over and you should be brought this way. So what you'll be able to see all of the ingredients as we are going along. You are so funny. Look away. Look away. Non-pork eaters. I'm telling you. If you on here judging me like, oh my God, do you know what pork is? Why would you put that in yesterday? Oh, who cares? Who cares? All right. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our mushrooms open. We're using two different kinds of mushrooms, primarily for the texture and the taste. So it typically takes about four to six. I'm going to do five. That's the fresh number right there in the middle. Um, you're really not supposed to rinse mushrooms, but we're going to rinse ours. We're going to rinse them. 
And then we're also going to chop them up, right? So we have those, and then we're also going to use the enoki mushrooms. These are what enoki mushrooms, well, the light, the light isn't happening, helping them at all. All sucky, sucky now. I get a special, yes you do. Tisha and I go way back to at least 2015 from the Periscope days, um, the do it scale days, right? So this is what enoki mushrooms look like right here. Um, wish I was there. I never had hot pot. Well, you guys hopefully will be inspired to make your own because right now in the city of Philadelphia, there's no indoor dining allowed because of COVID, right? So here is the enoki mushroom right there. These taste amazing. They almost taste like a noodle. And for these, you don't have to chop them up, but I do cut this bottom piece off. I just don't want that in my food. So I'll typically just pull off a couple of pieces. It's almost like spaghetti. Not spaghetti, but spaghetti. Got it? So if you wanna have your own version of spaghetti in your hot pot, use some enoki mushrooms. The texture is amazing. Now I could have cut this bottom piece off first, but you know, we only pretend to be cooks on this broadcast. We're not real cooks, so we figure it out as we go along. And then we take our bread knife to cut a vegetable because that kind of sort of makes sense. Or it's the only clean knife that I could find. You choose why we're using that knife. All right, so we have those. They're all kind of done. Half is going to go on one side. The other half is going to go on the other side. Then I am going to blunt cut these mushrooms by just going tap, tap. This is where Paige comes in handy, guys. She has been cutting these for me um, really, really well, really, really well. So I'm just gonna slice them up and you can cut up any kind of mushrooms that you want. Um, I don't really know the difference between one mushroom versus another. I just pick out the ones that kind of sort of look good and then I try them. I believe these are portobello mushrooms, but there are so many different varieties. So we're using two different um, mushrooms. So I see that we have 76 of you live across the platforms. I know I've been running my gum since we've gone live and have not said, hey, who's out there looking at me, looking at you. So take a moment if you have not already, say hello and tell us where you are watching from as I attempt to cut these mushrooms so I can see who's here. I see that Ali is here. Nabs Productions is saying greetings. Well, greetings right back to you. I would normally bring your comments up, however, because I am cutting these mushrooms, I can't really, I can't be in two places at one time in terms of being the producer and the person cutting the mushroom. So take my word for it. They said hello. So hello right back to all of you. I fell in love with Hot Pot maybe about three years ago. Um, Mish Clark is someone who I, I had met on um, Periscope and she visited me here in Philadelphia. We also went to China a year later. Um, but when she visited me, she took me to Hot Pot. Absolutely amazing, I fell in love with it. It's like a communal meal. Let's see what you're saying. Hello from Denver. Hi, Camila. I will watch replay. Time to punch back in. Well, I'm so glad you were able to come, Tisha. So glad. Um, I will be off, off, off the next seven days. Love you to life. Happy holidays and stay safe and all that other jazz that we say nowadays, right? Um, so I met her and we went to a hot pot restaurant. And... I mean, I tried all different kinds of foods that I had never tried before. Me, Lulu, and Zara watching from Belize. Hello, my Belizean beauties. How are you? Um, and so, I loved it. There was something about the flavor in the pot. I absolutely love um, the different spices that are used, the different meats that you can try, the different veggies that you can try, all of that, right? And so, I decided to continue to go and when I was working full-time I would go every at least once a week 
during a lunch break. I would That would be my version of self-care. I would take myself to Hot Pot and do all you can eat. And many of you came with me on Periscope. Kim, originally from Philly, but also now in Atlanta. You know I am a native New Yorker living in Maryland, said Tisha, before she had to go back to work. But I would go. However, since COVID came along, um, you can't sit down in the restaurant. So I have been trying and trying and trying my darndest to get all of the ingredients that I need in order to make it at home. And I have been testing it. I found a couple of different seasonings that work really well. This is uh, the spice that we are going to use right here. Here, I'll swap. Let's swap the cameras, shall we? Yeah, this one. So this is the seasoning that we are going to use. This is the closest to what I experienced when I was in Chengdu, which is in China. And this is called Spicy Chenggong Hot Pot Seasoning. It, no, that's probably not how you pronounce it. We're not here for the pronunciation, but I'm showing you that this is what we are after in our hot pot. And yes, I have a pot that separates the two sides just like that. So let's switch it back over. Let's add that. There we go. So we're back. Now we're back to our regularly scheduled section. So we have our mushrooms. We have both, I guess these are portabella is what we're gonna call them. And then we also have the enoki mushrooms. Then we are going to take our okra. I know some people don't like okra because it's slimy. It's this and it's that. However, when we make it in hot pot, it's delicious. It is absolutely positively delicious and it's healthy, right? And we're all about the health. I don't know how many of you saw my post. However, my pants, seem to be shrinking i know um in college there was this whole concept of freshman 15 i have definitely gotten the covid 15 because uh my pants don't fit the way they used to um and so i'm just doing a rough cut of the okra i've never gotten okra at a hot pot restaurant they that was not on a menu um before However, I enjoy the taste of it and the crunchiness of it. That's what my friend uses too, and he lived in China for a while. A married Chinese man, it's a good one. Oh, that, see, oh my gosh. I've tried it now, Ali, at least. We've had hot pot, heat, homemade hot pot for twice or three times now. And that was the second seasoning, and it was the closest I got to the taste that I fell in love with in China even better than what I get here in Philadelphia. Of course it would be better than what I get here in Philadelphia. Um, and so I went back today to get as many packets as I could because it just feels like they're about to shut everything down, down. And I wanted to have enough to last for a little while to be able to make my own meals um, or at least a hot pot here at home. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting the okra and tossing the end pieces. I know some people even eat the end pieces. You could you could juice them if you so chose. I don't know. I've never juiced okra either. Just sounds like something you could do. Don't know why you couldn't. And so after we finish cutting this, we're going to get our snow peas and just put those in. And then I will show you all the pot that we will be using, which is pretty incredible the way it works. And you're probably going to say, oh my gosh, that doesn't look so good, especially when I put the seasoning. But I'm telling you, it's delicious. All right, so here is the veggies so far. We have the two different types of mushrooms, and then we also have the okra. To that, we are going to add our snow peas. And we don't have to do anything to these, but wash them. Wash with an R. We're going to wash the snow peas. And you can use as much or as little as you like. Just don't overdo it. If you were at the um, Hot Pot restaurant, there is a 10% waste charge. So don't put more on there than you can actually eat. But there's several of us here. So if I can't eat it, somebody else will. So this is all of the veggie portion 
for our hot pot meal. To that, we are going to go ahead and re-talk about our slices here. So here is the lamb. I'll show you all that. Now, it was frozen, but you know, it's been sitting out for a little bit. Hello from Boston. Hi, Kitchen Diva. So here is the lamb slices that we have. I will tell you, if you are going to make hot pot, get yourself a great pair of tongs. I think I have some. Oh, uh, where are they? I have several. Oh, I don't want to drop the pot. Don't drop the pot. You want two separate pairs of tongs. One pair of tongs to, um, to deal with the raw meat and then a separate set that you're going to use for the cooked meat. You don't want to cross contaminate and give yourself salmonella. That wouldn't be good. You might have enjoyed the food, but it's gonna come out a different way if you do it that way. So don't do that. Have two sets of tongs. So for the raw meat, I typically will use these. Let me bring it over. Ew, false said I'm not eating that too much meat. Some people don't eat meat or lamb or pork or whatever. This may not be the broadcast for you because we eating a lot of meat with this one. Um, the lamb slice looks good. Hello, Matthew Vic. How are you? All right. And then we also have right here. This is the ribeye slices. Now we do not need to look at look at that color. <gasps> oh my goodness. That is going to be delicious. All right, and then after that, the last one in terms of those is going to be the pork belly slices. If you eat bacon, um, this is something that I learned from Mish as well. The pork belly is 10 times better and more healthy for you. I eat it all, yum, yum. I like goat meat. I will be making goat meat for Thanksgiving. That is my contribution thanks to the pressure cooker. Okay, all right, all right. Then we're also going to add in some fish balls and that will be all of the meat. Finally, we will be adding our bean vermicelli noodles. And as you can see on there, it's great for hot pot. If they tell you it's great for hot pot, you use it for the hot pot. No, I like the vermicelli noodles. So that's all. I know it's a lot. There is a whole, oh no, I'm sorry. And there's more, she said. Squid, um, we're gonna use some squid tentacles as well. So let's get this thing started because I've been talking about it forever. And you're like, Zakia, okay, we get it. You got meat, you got veggies. Where is this hot pot? All of that. So here is the pot. If you've ever watched me at the um, hot pot restaurants, they typically bring me a big bowl that looks very similar to this here. I'm trying to get it in frame. And this one is actually electrical. So I get to plug her in, plug her in, plug her in, and then we'll turn it all the way up. And to one side, we are going to add our chicken stock. Now, we will be using the pressure cooker going forward to make our own chicken stock. But for now, we're going to use what we got to get what we want. You, 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 what we got. So we're going to put just to the bottom on one side and then on the bottom on the other side. A little more on this side, a little more on that side, a little more on this side. And I am using the whole thing because this is going to turn into our broth. What are you guys saying? What kind of fish balls? So these are fish balls with shrimp. So it's the fish meat and then encapsulated inside of that fish meat is um, chopped up shrimp. They have fish balls with pork, fish balls with chives, with all kinds. They have lobster balls. There's all different kinds that you can get. So this is going to slowly start to steam up. Now, let me show you the spiciness. Now the spiciness looks disgusting when it comes out of the container. I'm telling you now, it looks pretty nasty when it comes out of the packaging. However, it is full of flavor where you don't have to do a lot. Um, there are so many different um, ingredients that you need to make true authentic um, hot pot where it would be extremely expensive 
here's the sock top hands right it would be extremely expensive to make this all at home so these are pre I don't I'm telling you it's gonna look bad so what you do is you take the seasoning which is all right there and I will tell you what is in it in a moment but it's like a paste and we're gonna fill this one side it has chili pepper it has garlic hold on I'll tell you exactly what's in it okay palm oil chili soybean paste um, pepper um, flour ginger garlic salt sugar sesame um, star anise cassia and potassium sorbate so they are all of the ingredients that make this amazing thing do what it do I know what you're thinking like Zakia. I don't know I don't know if I would eat that I'm telling you it is the most delicious thing I have ever had well close to it there's been others but not very many all right we're going to take our flattener and this is just a um a spatula and what that does is it allows me to push the seasoning down because we want all of that seasoning to get in on that side we may have to add two cups of water to this because that's really not enough broth oh i can already smell the seasoning that is definitely not enough broth for what we want to do. This is the ASMR portion of our broadcast. I hope you all are enjoying it. <laughs> Get a little bit of ASMR relaxation going with the sound, sight and sounds happening. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side before we add two cups of water to each side. So we take it out of the package. This is what it looks like when it comes out of the package. You can see all of the spices on this side. And then a little bit more of the sauce on that side. Jaria, you said squid, not so much. Um, yeah, I am putting squid on one. That's the same reaction that my aunt had. She does not want squid on her side. So the squid will not go on the non-pork or um, what's the name side. So the left side is auntie's side, guys. Don't let me accidentally put anything over there. So we're going to take about, if you're only doing this for you at home, one person, one side, you only need about half. If you do more than that, that's way too much. So I'm going to put that in like that. So we get the pretty much the same amount on both sides. And then we we'll use our spatula to break it up. Or whatever you have to break it up. And as you can see, it's starting to bubble, bubble, bubble. And that's when you want to go ahead and add the water in. Some people actually put a little bit of um, oil in there as well. We don't need that. I keep this cup or this jar. It's a mason jar. And that's how I am able to consistently put the same amount of water each time. And we want the water to come to about half, or we want the broth to come about half. We're going to do the same on this side. I didn't actually break it all up on that side, but that's okay. And we'll do the same over here. Oh, 
Oh, that looks divine. I may need to add a little bit more sauce because I feel like I added a lot more um, water this time around. And the one thing that we want is we want this to give it a chance. Z, hello, Weppa, how are you? That's Miss Eileen Carter, Miss Mommy Teaches. How are you? Is this a spicy dish? Yes, but you don't have to get it spicy. I purchased the spicy package. You don't necessarily have to get the spicy ones, Camila. The idea is um, you want all of those Chinese spices or seasonings that you like to be able to cook the hot pot. So all of your meats, because the temperature on this gets so hot and you use such thin amounts or thin slices of the lamb, the ribeye, it cooks very, very fast. But there is a, um, a, pip a pickled cabbage version of hot pot. Um, you can get it just like a tomato paste or base version. You don't necessarily have to get the spicy one, but I am a spice theme. Hashtag, where's my plate, sis? Oh, I thought you were going to put hashtag, where's... Well, I ain't going to say it because then she'll run. Yes, hashtag where's page. Yes, she's like you talk about hashtag where's page. She heard me. All right, so that is almost ready. When we start seeing this bubble, we will begin to add all of the other ingredients. Now, as you can see, this side has a little more of the white across the top, whereas this one is all red. If we give it a moment, they'll both look identical. They'll both look identical in a few minutes. So just like with the soap making, it's best to prepare by having all of your ingredients that you're going to use ready and laid out. Hi, what was the brand of the seasoning pack? Now, if you think I can pronounce it, oh, Paige came to say hello. I want to be on the broadcast. Can you put a t-shirt on though? Go get a t-shirt and then you can definitely be on the broadcast. She's coming to be on the broadcast, guys. I love some spice. It looks good. So this one is called spicy. And of course, I'm sure it's upside down. Spicy Chung Gong Hot Pot Seasoning. I'll take a picture and I'll post it. I'm not sure if you're watching on Facebook. I'll put it on the community tab of YouTube. And I'll also put it on the Facebook page for Live Soap School. So if you're watching there, all of the ingredients or at least the seasoning packets will be listed. So that is bubbling. The right side always, for whatever reason, bubbles faster. We can start adding our ingredients. I always love to start with the meat. And the reason I love to start with the meat is because that will season the, um, what was I gonna say? That will season it. So once we go to add the noodles, much, much better. Here comes Paige to say hello. They can see you, but you're in a little teeny tiny spot right there in the corner. Say, what's up, everybody? What's hey? up? I already cut all of the veggies. Okay, well, can I put in the bacon? Well, this one is the lamb. Oh, lamb. Oh, lamb. And my, Did they both sides spicy? Yeah, and Carol wants some too, but she doesn't want the pork. So we're going to put some on this side for, oh, well, it's not bubbling yet. It's a little, a little. So, as you can see, look, that's already cooking. Doesn't take very long. Everybody's saying, hey, mama. Hi. All right, so there's our lamb. Next, we will go ahead and add in, you want to do the veggies? Yeah, I want to cut them up. Please. No, don't cut those. We don't have room. So, just drop them in right here. We're going to do some of the mushrooms. See, I couldn't cut them as good as you. <laughs> oh. Hot? Sorry. No, it just pop, pop, pop. Mine's with the pop, pop, pop. And now some of the enoki. There's some little slicing skills if you want to see. There go them slicing skills. We want to see some slicing skills. All right. Let's get some. Whoever wins a slicing contest, I'm gonna beat you. Okay, so we have that. Next, we're going to add in some of the ribeye. Ribeye. Okay. 
hands, put a little on that side, put a little on my chef side, put a little on that, what's that side, put a little on my chef side. Wait, did you put in the noodles? Not yet. Put more, don't drop from so far up because it'll pop you, mama. Good. Lower down, there you go. See, I was being fancy using the tongs, Paige is using her fingers. I was trying to show off for the broadcast. You're just going to go all in, huh? I got you. Okay, there I'm you go. I'm sorry if you want to have told me that, I wouldn't have you I'm trying to be all fancy, Mom. Okay, we got the ribeye over there. I'm in, I'm in. We got some ribeye over here. Aunt Carol's probably like, where's my lamb? You didn't put lamb over there. <laughs> so we're going to put some lamb over here. Mommy. Hmm. Everyone, Can I. Can you have... put some veggies on this side, Paigey? Um, yeah, just pressing the veggies. Everyone, I'm going to be rich soon because I'm going to show you something that I found literally just in our backyard. It's... Where are you going? No. Oh. Alright, so we're going to put some of the snow peas on this side. Hi, Paige. It's Zara. Oh, cousin Zara said hi. Looks great, V says. Hi. Okay, now we're going to put, okay, put those in on this side. And Carol needs some veggies. She does, she's not all meat. Oh, that sounds good. It does. I'm going to cut this out. You don't have to cut it. Sometimes people like it without it being cut. Okay. I do. I all right, I'll leave some for you to cut. I'm going to put her okra in. I'll just grab them one by one. She's missing some enoki. We need a little more mushroom for her. Mom, what are these called? Snow peas. Snow peas. And Carol, do you like your snow peas cut? No. You can put them on our side then. <laughs> I told you. Nobody wants cut up snow peas, Paige. Now we forgot our squid tentacles and our shrimp balls. No, just add them in. No, just add them in. Hello, what you got cooking? Hi, Porgy Town. Um, so we are doing hot pot. For all of you that are just joining us, number one, welcome. I am Zakia, and this is Paige. I've been broad. I've been helping Mom do broadcasts ever since I was one. Yes. Aunt Carol said it smells good. She can smell it in there. <laughs> she needs some enoki on this side, Paige. But we got to cut that bottom piece off. And, I'm and she's watching you on YouTube. Say, hey, Aunt Carol. Hi, Aunt Carol. Mm. Good job. I'm going to drop hers in and get her a little more. That's not, that's not enough. Cut that piece off. And, and so you don't want to really crowd your pot. And yes, everyone, I'm using this type of knife. Because she's careful. I'm very gentle with this type of knife. And so we now have this all cooking down. You don't need to cook it for very long. But you do um, want to give a chance to put it on this side. The reason here. why it's called hot pot is because it's hot and it cooks really, really fast. In a pot. Yeah. We want the brown piece to come off, Paigey, the bottom. That's all you have to cut on here is that part down there. Uh... All right, so we have inside of our pot it. Oh, we want that to go on that side. Mm -hmm. Carol is missing the enokis. All right, so inside of our pot we have an amazing. Everybody saying hi, Aunt Carol, on the broadcast. Hello. She's saying hello. Um, so inside of the pot, I'm holding off on. Oh, I no, Paigey, stop! Don't do that. Don't ever put your hand inside of a hot pot. Okay. okay. All right. So we have lamb, we also have the beef ribeye, but then we have a ton of vegetables in here. That includes the snow peas, the mushrooms, the okra, on top of the spices. And then put in the noodles, that's the best part. The last part that we're going to put in is the, the shrimp balls and the noodles. <laughs> right, mom is talking so much, but we're forgetting the other ingredients. But we don't, here, let me grab this knife. 
dang, be careful. Mommy, you should do a spoon that And way. the noodles come in a ball like this. And then you. She is so cute and smart. We don't have to break it. We're just going to drop in. Thank you, and then whoever they, said that. Oh. Could, and you, then, could, you, could you type in your name so I know who you are? Oh. Um, and then we're going to put some on this side as well. They will cook down. Here, use the spatula. Uh, I can push it down. Kiddo. Okay, we want to push it down so that it gets a chance Mommy, to cook. It cooks those, extremely can the, quick. Can I get the round circle thing? This one? No. What, the one. white one? No, the other one. This one? No, the big one. No, what? that's a big short one. What are you talking about? The silver one. No, the other one. The other one. Oh my god. No! no this? One. Yeah. No. Use this one. That's what, That's the first one I was doing, but then you didn't understand. I thought I would just go with the silver one. So, as everyone knows, this is what the hot pot um, looks like. Yeah. So, you get a nice seasoned broth. You get all of your veggies in there, and then that allows everything to cook up together. I think the noodles are done. Z, you're so awesome. Oh, that's Miss Zoe saying hello. And Miss Porgy Town said it looks Zoe. good. Please be careful, Paige. If that splashes on you, it will burn. There's a time where you get so where you got where you got bacon juice all over your lips. Yes. <clears throat> all right. So that side is done. I didn't add the pork in because I'm using the same utensils, and I want to make sure I don't cross contaminate. So once I make all of this side, then I will add in the pork side. LOL, y'all funny. I know, David. Everyone comment. We need our own sitcom. Go ahead, Paige. What are you saying? Everybody comment down below who's the better chef, Mommy or Paige. Definitely you. Definitely you. Comment down below. Comment down below who is what? The best chef. I and I'm going to go put on my special good outfit so you guys can see <laughs> who's the best chef special good outfit so here is what it is looking like right here so you can see all of the veggies I wish I have been asking for smell-o-vision since 2015 smell a scope smell a book smell a tube any of them they refuse to build it at some point we will have it but if you could smell what the rock is cooking in this instance what we're cooking it is absolutely incredible and then because and again okay the chef is back <laughs> oh she has her chef hat and her apron oh that makes her the best that makes you definitely the best the cook. Way. my fault sorry the real chef is here the real chef has entered the room so what we'll do is because we are not going to use all of the meat for tonight and somebody said yay for Paige. <laughs> oh, you need any more noodles or one enough. So we put one on each side, um, Drea. We may need one more, but we'll probably do that. Stop, Paige. Please don't do that. It'll splash. It will splash and burn. All right. So what we'll do to save the meat right here, what we will do is we will put that in its own um, Ziploc bag. And I still didn't put the squid in, I didn't put the shrimp balls in, and I did not put the pork belly in. I will do that as a round two. Now, typically when we are, hold on, I can come this way. Um, typically when we are in a hot pot restaurant in particular, you have the, oh, you took off your apron. They couldn't, now they can see it. Put it back on so they can see it. Um... So typically when you're in a hot pot restaurant, they come out and they continue to bring the meat and you continue to have like a communal meal with everybody that you are eating with. Um, and you all cook together, which is why it comes out in such a large pot. Um, so as you can see, the camera is here, which is allowing you all to see into the pot. Um, I'm learning, right? And so, now, the only thing we need to do is serve these up in some bowls, which I shall do. Can you turn this off? We can turn it down. Is that how you turn it down this way? Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's serve Aunt Carol's first. I'm the chef. No. 
Well, we don't want too much broth. Come on. Give me that. I'm this side. Oh. Okay. Not that it matters. They're both identical. That's too much broth. We need a more food. There you go, chef. Oh, we're losing it. Put it up. Oh, fired. Fired? Out of my own kitchen. We didn't start the fire. That's all it reminds me. That's all it reminds me of. This okay. Now, no, no, no. We're going to use the tongs to get the actual meat out. Because we'll be all day trying to get the soup. <laughs> Watch your hands, it will burn you, Paige. Oh, you guys can't see what's happening in the pot. I'm sorry. They can kind of see it a little. Here, I'll switch you over. Wait. Cute apron, Paige. Thank you. Here you go. So, that is how it is coming out raw there. Now, of course, you would probably clean up the bowl as you are making it. But you can put anything you want inside of your hot pot. Um, it's just a matter of the, the spices you want, the meats that you want, um, the veggies, the noodles, anything like that. And then you just will get some of the broth just by kind of going down in there. And you can make it as soupy or not. And then you just go back and forth, back and forth. Um, and enjoy a really nice meal with your loved ones by yourself. I have had plenty of hot pot by myself. I'm telling you now. You don't want to eat it? No problem. However, here's here's my trick, guys. Here's what I here's what I did. I just wouldn't tell people that I was going to have hot pot, right? But now with COVID, I've got to share because I'm making it at home for everyone. So it's very good. It's very tasty. And you can have as much or as little as you like um, and enjoy it. So if you are curious, send me a bowl, please, and thank you. Absolutely. It's coming. I don't think it'll last that long. But I'm Zakia. I hope you have enjoyed this version of my version of homemade hot pot because I can't have it in the restaurants anymore. You know me. If you tell me I can't get it that way, I'm going to figure out another way and probably make it homemade. I'm Zakia. Paige has left me again. I probably got up on her nerves, but that is our version of hot pot. I will go ahead and eat this first round with them. Then I'll come back and I will add the pork belly, the shrimp ball, and the squid to the second round of it because this round probably won't last um, more than three bowls. I really enjoyed you making hot pot. Thanks, Drea. So this was a lot of fun to do. I've been kind of honing my skill over the past couple of weeks by just trying a little bit here. I've gone through three different seasonings that didn't quite make the match, but this one in particular, this spicy chung going hot pot seasoning, hit it on the mark for what I was used to when we went to Chengdu in China. It even tastes better than what I was getting at the um, restaurant here in Philadelphia. So. Um, that was the final straw where I said, you'll be able to make it through COVID as long as you can get that particular seasoning. The meats, you can always get those at a butcher or whatever. So if you have any questions, let me know. Leftovers, um, what I will do with all of these different meats is I will put them into a um, freezer bag and I'll make individual baggies so that if I'm just here by myself, that doesn't happen anymore. But if the kids don't want any hot pot, I can just take out enough for myself. Um, and then um, if I'm only making on one side of the pot, I do have to fill the other side with water just so it doesn't burn because the whole thing is boiling. But the beauty of it is you can have two completely different flavors on one side versus the other. So one side could be savory and sweet. The other side can be spicy. Um, but this one, we were doing the same one. So, I'm Zakia. You all have a great night. You've been a fantastic audience. And thanks for being here. I'll see you soon. Bye, everybody.